Hey guys, I'm Joe, you're watching Theo Joe Tech. In this video, I thought it would be fun to talk about something that you may have never heard of before, but has been around for a little while, light field photography. What the heck is that? Basically, it's a special type of photography that lets you refocus the image after you take the photo. How the heck does that work? Well, to understand, you have to understand how a regular camera works. Basically, what happens is you have a lens and then a 2D sensor where all the light rays come onto the sensor and the sensor just measures the color, intensity, whatever, of a single plane of focus and then it captures that single image as a file and then you can look at it. What light field photography does is it actually doesn't just capture a 2D sensor, it has thousands of little micro arrays and micro lenses and you know, sensors that combine the image not just from light coming from one direction, like it's projected onto a 2D sensor, but it actually captures light coming in different directions. Now, the reason we have different focal lengths is because you're focusing light rays from different angles onto the sensor. So if you focus it from one angle, you're gonna go further. If you focus it from another angle, it's gonna just only capture light from closer things. But what the light field array does is it captures from multiple fields of view and it basically captures kind of a whole section of light from you know a different point in space so that means that when you go into the editing image of the special software that it comes with you can basically say well i only want the light rays from this direction or this angle which basically converts to a different focal length and area of focus. So you really can adjust the focus afterwards. But the trade-off of this is that you get reduced resolution of the final image after it's been processed and converted into a 2D image. That's because you're basically taking what might be a 40 megapixel image. You have to use the same amount of information to not just capture one focal length, but also all of them in a certain range. So sure, you can adjust the focus afterwards, but it's gonna be a smaller resolution image. Now there's really only one company that produces cameras that you can actually really buy for an affordable price, and that's a company called Lytro. They have the Lytro Ilum, I think that's how you pronounce it, which is a true light field camera, the resolution of which is 40 mega rays, I believe is the number, but mega rays, not to be confused with megapixels, but mega rays is just saying it captures different rays of light. So you're not capturing, you know, the pixels, the number of pixels, but actually individual rays of light. So you can imagine how the resolution of the final image is gonna be smaller because you're capturing basically all the rays of light, not just the pixel sensitivity of only the rays of light in one particular focal length, if that makes sense. This camera didn't really take off yet, mostly because I think of the final resolution of the image as well as the price. It's like a $600 camera. When it came out, I think it was like $1,200. So if you're gonna be spending that much on a camera, you probably want a decent image quality at, as the final image. But of course, it does have that very unique feature. So if you're taking specialized macro photos or something like that, where you want maybe a really long depth of field, that might be useful for you. And it'll definitely be interesting if any other companies come out with this similar type of camera or if Lytro comes out with maybe a more affordable or a better performing camera in terms of resolution. I mean, can you imagine if a you know really high resolution camera came out that you can focus afterwards? That would probably be very popular. But right now, there's really only that one option and I thought I would just talk about it in case you guys hadn't heard of it and were interested in it. And that's really all I had to say. If you guys want to talk more about this in the comments section, that'd be great. And if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up so I know you guys enjoyed it. And if you want to continue watching, I've got other videos on the right-hand side. You can either click them or look in the description for the same link like if you're on a phone. So thanks for watching, guys. I will see you next time. Have a good one.